Hey all Westy here, okay, I have had a mission trying to figure this out and trying to do research, there's not a lot of information on it, um, if you're trying to get a, a light on power supply, uh, this is a light on PS755Q, 750 watt, um, 60 amps on 12 volt rails, and I've had um, major problems with my uh, mining breakout board boards not working with this particular unit um, the other one seems to go okay but this one's very very picky so after much <laughs> mucking around and reading uh, there was there's no information online about this of um, on videos so the light on this is this is this this is a solution so what we need to do, and what I've done, um, it's probably not quite right, but I've got it to work, is um, on the rail here, there's a, um, on the positive rail, you can actually use just the other side. So I'll turn it upside down on the bottom side, like that. Um, I haven't got this plugged in, so. And yes, my bench is a friggin' pigsty. Anyway, so I've actually got... Um, two one ohm resistors twisted together and on if you have a look over here at pin number 32 31 30 and 29 are the ones that you want to solder uh, solder a um, resistor on because what the power supply is looking for is a low signal on each one of those pins to earth but if you do a straight short it doesn't work uh, I tried that tried it on a because I didn't think I had the right um, resistors because um, I haven't got, I hadn't didn't have anything under um, 1k I think so but I did find, manage to find a couple of 1 ohm ones there which I've got running there and you basically just solder, solder, twist them together like I've done here on the bottom, on the bottom side here. Um, and then basically, I've cut the legs shorter, and just soldered on pin 29 and 30. So 32, 31, pin 30 and 29, and then just go to the earth bar, which is this one here. I've done it on the other side. But that's the, the this side's got the earth bar on both sides. Um, you can see the joining piece between the two. That's this one here is the negative. This one here is your your main 12 volt buzz bar that you want to start soldering all your gear on because um, that's your high load 660 amps that'll pull at 12 volts. So I've really um, I've I've had lots of problems getting this up and running, and finally. Finally, I've had some success because I wasn't getting any voltage out of um, out of this rail, out of this 12 volt rail, um, and and I've just done this one one particular upgrade. So I'm just going to um, plug it in, turn it off. Okay, so it's fired up. Green lights on. It actually was a good sign that that unit fired up quite quickly. Um, at high RPM because it normally doesn't do that at all when you haven't got any of this on here um, and it's dead so I'm just going to turn this my probe to voltage um, so I'm just going to touch this to the 12 volt rail and as you can see I've got 12.47 which is fantastic so now I can start soldering in some big heavy duty lugs on each side of this bar and I can now run my um, six pin plugs like that uh, and so I'm, I'll be basically taking the power and splitting them into power and, and earth and then so I'll be soldering onto the earth bar and I'll be soldering onto the power bar so I'm wrapped now that that is absolutely <laughs> um, <laughs> working I'm like oh it's, it's been a day trying to research because there's old rc forums and stuff like that and um, i'm going to send this as an update to those guys an appreciation for uh, sharing that information which is probably four years old now but this is an actual video of it working so there you go 
So that's that's the Lighton PS27515Q, 750 watt unit. Uh, awesome. Thanks, guys. Cheers.